welcome back to another video guys well i wouldn't say welcome back to another one it's my first one but today we're out here setting some coon traps and snares and footholds so uh i have some old meat and my trapping supplies and i want to try to set some coon traps here in this old junkyard i'm wearing orange because it is the weekend gun season so don't want to get shot okay I'll get you back up when I get this trap situation. We got an old junkyard. There's just junk scattered everywhere. And down there in the creek bottom, there is a trail, if you can't see it, that connects the two sides, and I mean it's a sheer drop off. So, um, I wanna try to set some traps down there, and there's a coon den down there, what I believe to be a coon den down there, so. We'll get some traps out and just try to catch one, I guess. All right, so we've got our snare here. Uh, we've got our just little snare here. So cable restraint, if that's a deer, it's a deer stop, so deer can't get caught in it. We're gonna walk in here and set it right beside where I said that there was a coon in. And as you can see here, there's a really good pad trail that runs right down through there. And right down there is the coon den. So I want to set a snare right there beside that pile of junk right down there. And um, set along the trail and get it hooked in and I'll go on to the next trap. Alright, so here's the first snare set. We got the pad trail coming down through. You can see the pad trail right here. This is the place that's across the creek that piece of land and that's the pad trail right there leads the snare walk up boom leads the coming down right through this stick it's called your chin up stick so they don't poke their head under it and when they're going through they'll lift up their head to go over the stick and boom they trip right through it so that's the first snare set i got it wired up to a tree and i set another one we actually found another tuned in right beside the, the one that I was talking to you guys about and the one that we found was right there is right there beside those tires that goes down and as I was looking at it the trail that goes to both of those coon dens comes right up and over through the path that I was actually walking on I didn't even realize it so I um, am actually going to set a snare there there's piece of pipe because I've already said it once I'll say it again it's a junkyard and um, the path comes up through there and under this pipe and why not set a snare there so I'll catch up to you guys when I get it set all right so I got that snare set right there and I blocked off this path because I wanted the coons to come you know through this the path that had my snare on it and you don't want to change the environment too much when blocking off a path. And, you know, I, I did change the environment quite a bit, but it was with sticks. If I was to come here and put a tree here, then it would be, you know, a whole different idea. So, um, I kind of did that right, kind of didn't. But I also made this path look more welcoming if they were coming up this path. So, there's your chin-up stick and the stick holding it and i have it wired here so it doesn't fall down all right that's the snare that i set there and let's go set another so i got down here where that other um raccoon den was that i was talking about when i that i seen that on the other side of the hill and um i got down here and again there's no place to set a snare but i'll show you guys the coon den it's pretty cool it goes way up in there there's water in it actually, which is kind of weird, I think, but I'm hoping that they use it quite often. And I'll try to get up here and show you guys this other one if I can without falling. There's the other coon den. Way down, it goes way down in there, too. It's pretty crazy looking. I'm gonna go up there and get my foothold that I can stake down and try to do something there. I was going to set my 
coon trap coon snare over there on a different tree over this way that didn't work out because the tree was too big and i did not my snare was not long enough for me to reach down to the tunnel in the coon den so i'm going to redo this all right so i'm going to hit it with a small tree and there's a pad trail that runs right here and goes under this barrel right here. So. Sorry if this is boring you, you can just skip it, but I figured I'd show you guys me setting the snare instead of just showing you the finished product. So. Alrighty folks, we got our final trap set, which was a foothold actually, and I have it set right there, and um, this right here is like the coon's going to be wanting down in there because there's meat, and he's going to be wanting down in there, but he's going to stand there so he doesn't fall off, and eventually he's going to pat around right into the trap. Hands right there, brought it up to this branch right here, which I tried to break it, and it actually wouldn't break, so... That's my trap for today. That's the trap line that we just set. And um, I will catch up to you when we come back to check it. Dang, man. Look at all this nut here in this mess. Whoa. Holy moly. And oh, oh, oh. What's that? Got him.